everybody, welcome. Today I'm showing you my Alpacool van fridge that I just received. It took me 30 seconds to install it, so I want to show you that. Now, right now I don't have any helpful information for you on how great this fridge really is because I have not yet used it. It's simply installed in my minivan, so as you can see, it's sitting right here where my Yeti cooler used to sit. It's perfect. It fits perfectly. It's it's right up against my cot. It still allows me a little bit of space to set things on and it comes up right against my door. Even with the power cord, um, I still have several inches of space left, so it's a really good fit. Like I said, this is the power cord. It does stick out a little bit. That's something that you will need to keep in mind. And it it's plugged in right now. And you can hear a very, very, very faint humming. If you can even hear that, that's how loud it is. So it's, it's a very, very, very faint humming. Not enough to keep anybody awake, that's for sure. So what I did was I have the power cord and I just threaded it behind here, underneath my cot, and then I'll show you on the other side what that looks like and what different power options I have. So there is my fridge over there. I just threaded it under the cot. Now I have it so it will plug in right here via this 12 volt. So when my van is running and I'm driving, say let's say I'm going across the country and I'm driving, I will plug in my fridge right there then I will turn it on on my dash right here and then my van battery will run my fridge while we're driving. When I'm not using that I will use my Jackery to power it. Now this is the Alpacool 20 liter I believe or 20 yeah 20 liter and it's only using 32 uh, watts of output right now on my Jackery and this is only a Jackery 240. So the Jackery 240 uh, can easily power the Alpacool which is really freaking awesome that it, it uses such little power. So that's really exciting. Um, I have the Jackery solar trifold panel as well so I never need full electric hookups. So so that's basically how my my fridge is, is hooked up. I mean, it took 30 seconds to install because all you have to do is, is plug it in. It's, it's plug and play. So I'm going to turn it off for now. I don't need to be using it, but I wanted to show you that I have two hookup uh, power sources for it that I can use under different circumstances. Um, and like I said, right now, I don't have any helpful information to give you on if the fridge is going to, you know, how, how, how effective it, it, it really truly is. My only gripe with it so far is that it's not, uh, it's not easy to, to open. I mean, which I guess is good because it's not going to fly open when you're driving, but uh, it does require two hands to really get it open. So I'm happy with it. It, it works out in my in my van set up really well and I'm excited to give it a try and let you guys know what I think about it as opposed to my Yeti cooler and I will say that it just fit here better than on my passenger side floor so I'm going to leave it in this spot let me know if you guys have questions I'll help out as much as I can with what little information I have at this time but please give this video a like if it was helpful to you at all. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.